Since we're on to calculations and trying to figure out what's going to break next, I, I realized if I do ever get up to 14, 15 knots, the uh, the weight on the wingtip could be quite high. It could be, um, I think it was like five, it's like 500 pounds or something. So what I did was I clamped the wing here um, to my workbench and I was lifting up on it and... Um, I noticed how flexible it was. So I have foam filled in here, but I didn't have anything from there to here. So I started drilling holes and putting foam in there, expanding foam. It's probably not the best way to do it, but uh, I already made the wing. So anyway, um, so the, uh, the foam has made it more rigid. Um, the next thing I could do is add a layer of carbon fiber on the bottom. Um, that would make it a lot stiffer and uh, I've been pulling on it and uh, just testing to see what's going to happen when if I if I do get up to um, 15 knots okay so one more thing um, to keep the the wings from deforming from this expanding foam I had to make these basically uh, large clamps uh, I have a correction the total weight that will ever be on this wingtip is 330 pounds which is basically the weight of the entire boat plus me uh, the the dynamic force of hitting a wave could increase that um, not really sure what percentage that would increase by okay i finally figured out what i'm going to do to strengthen the wing um, after analyzing the forces on the wing i realized the greatest force is actually right here um, it's not at the wingtip which you would think it's where the end of the clamp is so there's from here to here it, the the wing is basically clamped to the boat and because I can't add any thickness here um, because it, it wouldn't fit in my clamp. I have a fixed clamp in the back, but the clamp in the front is not fixed. It's variable. So I can add a thickness here, and um, it'll still be able to clamp it. I can still clamp it to the boat. Um, also, I checked the, the strength of this plywood. It's quite weird. Uh, you would think that it would be stronger in um, this direction, but it's not. So I'm orientating this 90 degrees to that, and I'm just going to glue it on here. Because I'm down to rare wood, uh, bare wood, I can use tight bond wood glue, and it should be completely fine. All right, here's how you can test the strength of plywood. You make two squares, you clamp them in your vise. Uh, one is horizontal, one is vertical, and then you pull on it. So look at that. So it's stronger in this direction. I can't get that to break. It's opposite of what you would think. So that's why I'm going to orientate the, gra the grain to take advantage of this strength here. Like this one I can't break. Gosh, that is so bizarre. Okay, here's the, the last thing that I did with my wings. Um, I strengthened this area of the wing towards the, the area where it's clamped to the boat because I, I noticed that the forces here are three times higher than at the wingtips where it's hitting the water.